retreat. Until the COVID-19 vaccine is available, I will not allow the traditional face-to-face -face teaching or learning unless the risk of exposure to the sickness are eliminated. I cannot and will not put to rest the health and lives of our students and teachers. We young about two weeks ago, I, 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 I seem to have said that uh, uh, I would allow the face-to-face -face, uh, classes to resume. But we were talking actually of January. Because my thinking is that uh, by September, we would have the vaccine. How to get it from the producers or from other governments is really something which uh, we have to deal with because everybody, the, 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 it's, it's a global need and everyone will go for it. But uh, let me just uh, mention it in passing that uh, about four days ago, I made a plea to the President Xi Jinping that if they have the vaccine, can they allow us to be one of the first? Or if it is needed, if we have to buy it, that we will be granted credit so that we can normalize as fast as possible. Life that is lost is life is lost forever. Causes that are not substantial can be supplemented. Education that is delayed can be recovered. We must implement online learning, modular learning, and TV and radio based broadcasts which students coming from different backgrounds can avail. TEPEG will provide printed modules for those who cannot afford online learning. In support of the learning continuity program through blended learning, we plan to increase the number of schools with ICT equipment in the coming months. The DEPED and the DITC are building up the public education network or pen that will connect all public schools and DEPED offices nationwide. We will prioritize the connection of all last mile schools and those who with no electricity supply and have it via satellite and energized via solar panels. By 2022, before I step down, the pen shall be realized. I'm referring to the program. I will, I will do it. TV frequencies reverted back to government for whatever cause or reason shall not be used exclusively to the exclusion of other persons or other families to cope up, to cope up with the demand of the next normal. This will be used to provide uninterrupted quality education to our children in our shift to e-learning. I am directing Secretary Guevara, Secretary de la Peña, and Secretary Unasa in collaboration with Secretary Bunes and Secretary Avisado, together with Secretary Dominguez, to come up with an integrated program and implementation mechanism to ensure that these TV frequencies are fully utilized by government.
the facilities of the PTB for the utmost benefit of the Filipino people.